Welcome to that magical space where one art form inspires another. One of our musicians, Claire Thatcher, suggested a project with poet Ruth Carr, and this has led to a rich collaboration between Ruth and two members of her poetry group, three composers, and a group of musicians from the orchestra. We have a poem by Ruth herself, followed by a musical response composed and performed by our principal percussion, Sam Staunton. The second work is by Norman Lowry, which inspired a piece by Queen's University student Matthew Winning for solo flute. And finally, a poem by Jane McComb, which inspired a piece by Ulster University student Connor Kearney. Our thanks to Professors Brian Irvine and Piers Hellowell, who mentored the students, to Craig Jackson from the Sonic Arts Lab at Queen's University for recording one of the pieces, and to Jane's husband Graham for his fantastic videography. My name is Ruth Carr and I'm here to read a poem about rain. I've always loved listening to the rain and uh, it still gives me goosebumps. There's mention of two wonderful poets in this poem, Philip Larkin and Emily Dickinson. And aside of that, it's plain sailing. Rain. Something in me feels at home with rain. It's easy patter. Not that needle fine or larkin sizing drench, the steady fall that puddles up and drips from low slung clouds, its background thrum like traffic, like electric, deeper down and deeper in. You sense like Emily, its loosening of acres, lifting seas, its shape shifting, the old repeating pattern, air to earth to air. It's soaking shawl, knitting up the spaces in between and then unravelling. It's rinsing salve, the heady notes of earth rising. In spite of all we've done, its acid tongue renews in me a memory of water that words cannot translate.
take a deep breath and sometimes it stings. The breath can shift from side to side without pulmonary effort. I take a deep breath and somehow it wings its way to my head, to my ears and my eyes, bringing a half-baked clarity. take a deep breath and some days it sings from the lungs through the ribs clearing a husky throat from the city to the world on the four wild winds of creation. Hello, I'm here on the shore of Belfast Loch with my dog Tess. It's a beautiful evening, just as it was earlier this year. My poem uh, evolved on the shore during our evening walks during the lockdown spring 2020, a time none of us will forget for a long time to come. But there were good things too. Um, it was a beautiful spell of weather. And I think for once in our lives, we had the time to stop and stare. And so I was taking it all in and I had started to germinate this poem in my head with this th this line, we still have this, because we did still have lots of things to appreciate. And my poem is called On Belfast Lock, Spring 2020. April brings the longer spell of sunshine and the unexpected waft of coconut from wind. The absurd scent and maximum yellow hits blue sky, lending an air of tropical ease to our walks. We still have this. The Brent geese gorge on weed, plumping up, flexing wings, preparing for their epic journey ahead. At liberty to leave us any day now, they await the winds that will take them north to Icelandic shores. We still have this. Celandine peeps through ivy, their cheery bumblebee yellow gaining footage every day, until clumps on every verge pronounce spring is here, just like any other year. Resurgence has come and will come again. We still have this. Blackthorn flowers before leaf and the faintest of buds bursting into impossible hoary crowds. 
each timid white flower massed together, standing strong, impenetrable, and with the promise of fruit to come. We still have this. May brings bluebells, Prussian blue and lilac hues, nodding above cloaks of stitchwort, ghost white, dove white, yellow stamens going off like fireworks, delicate yet uncompromising. They have found their way through. We still have this. Carrion crows scavenge the shore and soaring high drop mussels on rocks below. Solid, sharp-eyed, thick-beaked, they persevere, scooping and dropping until the shells finally yielding, they dine on Mule Marinière. We still have this. Evening sun, long shadows, the warmth of soft light, shingle on shore, the roundness of pebbles, whelk shells, limpets, and winkle steadfast, stones embossed with lichen for posterity, seals at Camp Hill, the loch a flat cam, view of Cave Hill. We still have this. We still have this. Thank you.